Alright yo what's up guys, Urk here and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. So basically I'm going to be doing something new this video. So a lot of people do top 5s, Mr. 3MS, you know Cameron's done a couple, a lot of other people have as well I'm sure. But I'm going to be doing one that I haven't seen before. So basically this is custom, I'm sure you all know him, he has 31,000 subscribers, he's pretty huge. And um, that's because his videos are different than everybody else. There's nobody else, or there are probably other people, but like the way that he does it is pretty crazy. So... And I'm not even talking right. He griefs and uh, hacks on servers and stuff like that. Uh, he used to be part of an organization called Enjoy the Ban. And I think he was part of uh, Exploit Squad. I'm not sure. But he just, he has these crazy, like, I don't know how he does it. He gets these staff account griefings all the time. I think staff do give him accounts sometimes, but I don't really know that's for sure. Uh, he hacks on servers. He griefs on servers. Obviously, the griefing gets more views and stuff, or usually. But, um... Yeah, so I've chosen five videos here. And actually, let me just scroll down for a second just to point something out. <laughs> See this video, MC Dreams, MC Dreams, MC Dreams? These are all, uh, these were my server. And uh, it was near the beginning of his channel, I remember. Uh, but so, yeah, I'm going to be going through five of these videos that I've chosen and saying, you know, some things about them and why I think they're, you know, some of the best. And uh, yeah, so I'll bring you back for that. And I hope you enjoy. Number five is going to be HC Games griefing and hacking, and then in quotations, or not quotations, but insane. So there isn't much that sets this video apart from the rest of his videos, except that it happens on HC Games during like their prime time. So like there was a couple month period when HC Games was like really the only competitor of mine HQ that could be seen, and they were pretty huge for a while, and they were respected. And um, also the fact that the server gets put on lockdown in the video. So you can actually see him checking the queue, like going to the hub, checking to the queue, and everyone in the team speak talking about it, how people can't get in. And uh, they put the server fully on lockdown because of what he was doing. And I mean, all around, you could just kind of see that this video has a lot of action in it. Like, you know, the type of action that he does. And it really shows off a lot of what he does in all of his videos as a whole. Uh, has a lot of aspects to it. And just, that's really it. So, let's move on to number four. So at the number four spot, we're going to be doing Viper HCF Staff Account Griefing Part 2. And then in the, uh, what are those fucking called? I don't know, but in the... Um parentheses that's what they're called uh insane band wave plus switching roles some things that set this video apart from the rest of his videos are the fact that he was able to grief viper as soon as they released 3.0 so if you don't know 3.0 was a really hyped up map that they did recently or it's their current map actually is 3.0 um you know they hyped as the whole network was down before it for like i think more than a week and uh just one week exactly one week after this was launched this is when this video came out and uh you know, imagine playing on a server for just like a week and it's all hyped up 3.0 to be perfect and you just get banned out of nowhere by custom like i don't know and it's also cool because at first he isn't actually on the staff account you know the switching roles part usually he just does one of them in the video but he's actually plays both roles he plays the player that gets tp'd by the staff member in hacking and he plays the staff member himself where they do a lot of damage they do a ban wave and uh yeah i mean I thought it was pretty cool, and I think he was on two different accounts. I'm not entirely sure. I watched through that part a couple times, but there was a part in the video where um, he logged off to like post a tweet that he was on the server and had staff and stuff. And um, I think he logged on with a different account after because he was like, he said something along the lines of, uh, I have another client, it doesn't matter. And by client, he might have meant account, otherwise I'm not sure. But uh, either way, you know, this is also a recent upload. It was posted on March 25th, so I mean, that's really recent. So that's something that also makes it kind of stand out. And yeah. For number three, we have Mindplex, the Mindplex Massacre, over 70,000 views. This was posted on November 12th of 2016, so not that long ago, but still a bit of time. Uh, and the reason that this is on here, as I'm sure you guys can guess, is literally just because it's Mindplex. Like, he literally got into a Mindplex account. He, uh, he had owner rank. If you look at the scoreboard, it says no rank owner. So he literally had an owner account on Mindplex to hack, and he was on there for a long time they had to take a while to actually figure out how to ban people but once they did they banned so many people from all the hubs it was really to be honest i don't watch all of his videos but this video i watched entirely and i actually did think it was kind of funny just because it's myplex and it's weird to see myplex in a vulnerable state like that you know see them that way um and yeah i mean that's the only reason it is really in here because the video itself is kind of normal but the fact that it was on myplex just makes it kind of crazy and uh yeah let's move on to number two Alright guys, so number 3 is going to be MC Dreams Part 3 Best Yet. Now this is one of his earliest videos, it's December of 2015, and this is when MC Dreams was doing really, really, really well. You know, Christmas break 2016, you know, this is my server if you don't know, my old, you know, it's not open right now, but this is my server, and uh, MC Dreams was doing really well at this time. And uh, I'd say how it happened, how he got the stuff he did, but I don't know entirely, like, I have an idea of what happened, but I don't know if it's right, so I don't want to say it in case it's wrong. But, um, basically the reason that I put this in here is not just because I'm biased about the fact that, you know, this video is here, but also the fact that, um, they were able to grief the server. They didn't just hack. They griefed the server without even having a staff account. 
Now, I, you know, I, I think someone that was staff originally helped them out, but I don't know. You know, don't quote me on that because I don't know for sure. But um, basically, they were able to get these, you know, stacked prot four, and you know, on MC Dreams, it's a super server, so people, most people use iron armor, um, regular, not enchanted. You know, they were able to get like stacked prot four, stacked sharp fives. They were had they had these strength potions that were 127 splash strength potions that they were splashing people with in spawn, and everyone was just one hitting each other. It was really a lot, and they got a bunch of withers over to spawn, and were blowing shit up, and they were doing it right under our noses. They were had invis pots, and in spawn, they were dropping all these, like, you know, the drop party items, and I could see in part of the video, my manager, my old manager, Joe, or United Kingdom, he was just looking in there, trying to see who it was, and you just couldn't tell who it was, because they had invis, and they were literally just griefing the server under our noses. We didn't freeze the server or anything. We didn't want to do that. There were a lot of people on. But they literally did all this without a staff account right under our noses, and that's why this I thought this video was crazy. Also, the fact that it was on my server kind of helps, and it was one of his first videos. Uh, I think it was within top 10, like one of his, not top 10, but like one of his first 10 videos. Actually, let me count that right now. Um, where's his channel? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's a, his 11th video. So I thought that was actually really crazy. You know, one of his earliest videos and all that kind of shit. And uh, that's why that's in the number 4 spot. Or in the number 2 spot. I don't know. I might have said 4 in the beginning, but it's 2. Alright guys, and in the number one spot is the HC Games Massacre. Now this video was crazy, and I was actually friends with the HC Games owners, but this video itself, purely based on the video, was actually really crazy. Um, you can see parts where they're flying around spawn, they had full op, they didn't just have staff, they had op. There's a point where he sets the whole spawn to lava with world edit, and like the whole spawn's fucked up, and like they crashed the server at one point, the server literally crashed. It wasn't stopped, it wasn't put in lockdown, it was crashed, and it, I think it came back up at some point. And then um, everyone was just spamming. The chat was just being spammed. Uh, they were opping everybody, deopping everybody. They tried to disable the security plugin. And not only did they fuck the server over intensely, a lot of the server was fucked up. But also, the forums was also fucked up. Like, they got on the forums, they had a staff account, and you could see him going through all the sections of the forums and forum posts and deleting all of them. Now, I don't know how they got a forum account. I think the fact that they had a forums account and an in-game account means that a staff member must have helped them do it, if that's true then i mean that doesn't really change anything the video is still crazy but um i mean i don't know exactly how it happened obviously so much went down i'm pretty sure people got banned as well and i don't know i just thought this was the craziest one out of all of them. i watched a bunch of them researching for this video i watched a lot of his videos um most of them i'd seen already but you know i watched a lot of his videos that i hadn't seen before and uh <clears throat> this one definitely seemed the craziest to me so that's why it deserves the number one spot in my mind as the craziest etb that custom has performed on his channel I just realized I was logged into Cameron's YouTube account, but uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. Please drop a like on this video. It's my first type of top five on my channel. I just want to get a couple things out of the way here. Um, Custom is a very controversial uh, figure, so I'm basing this purely on the videos, not based on the servers. I'm not, you know, I have no problem with the servers. I have no problem with Custom and the people that he's making these videos with. These, this top five is purely based on the videos themselves, based on quality, or what I thought were the best ones in general. Uh, you guys got a different opinions about which ones were the top. If you have a different opinion, you think one deserved to be on the list, put it in the, you know, in the comments below and I will check it out. Uh, not like there's going to be a follow-up to this video, but I mean, I'll still check it out and stuff. Maybe put it in the description. Uh, if you did enjoy it, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys with a video tomorrow. Oh, I just want to say this really quick. I'm going to weigh, uh, I'm going away on Saturday to Puerto Rico and, uh, I'm going to have to pre-record a lot of videos, so let me know what videos you want to see. There might be a lot of custom, or not custom, KKK, just like, uh, you know, uniquer, more unique than usual videos on my channel next week because I have to pre-record a lot, and uh, sometimes those are actually more fun to do when it comes to pre-recording because pre-recording Let's Plays gets old because you have to pre-record Let's Play after Let's Play after Let's Play, but uh, I'll definitely have some Let's Plays out this week as well, so I just want to thank you guys for all the support lately, and I'll see you guys in the video tomorrow. Peace out.